So uh, it is very important, however, to mention that although typically the pain is felt across the chest, uh, for every patient, the symptoms can be different. We know that, especially in females, uh, angina can have a typical feature. So it can present as breathlessness or sometimes as uh, not feeling uh, quite uh, uh, right uh, when you exert uh, when you exert yourself. So, uh, if you are concerned uh, about symptoms of chest tightness or chest heaviness, then I would suggest you speak to your uh, GP in the first instance, uh, or of course uh, see uh, your local um, uh, cardiologist if that is something that you'd be interested in doing so. Um, so the um, so so symptoms of uh, chest pain, um, as I've mentioned, can have a number of uh, uh, causes. Um, sometimes uh, and most commonly, narrowings or fairings of the arteries of the heart can be uh, one of the most common reasons as to why patients experience angina. Um, another common reason is narrowing uh, of uh, the heart valves, or if there's significant uh, leaks uh, or one of the valves of the heart, that means there is no sufficient blood supply going forward to the arteries of the heart. And that can also give symptoms of chest tightness on exertion. In addition to that, sometimes if the heart muscle is thicker because of high blood pressure or any other condition that can interfere with the, um, uh, with the blood supply to the heart or the relaxation of the heart, uh, and the reason why that can cause chest discomfort is because the blood supply to the heart muscle is during diastole. And what do we mean by that when the heart uh, muscle is relaxed? So if the heart muscle tends to be thicker uh, and result in diastole dysfunction, as we tend to uh, uh, call it in cardiology terms, that can also give symptoms of uh, uh, chest discomfort. Of course, there are reasons outside the heart that can cause uh, chest pain, not angina, but chest pain, and that can vary from uh, musculoskeletal reasons, for example, uh, pain in the in the rib cage or in the cartilage um, of, of the rib cage or in the muscle. Uh, sometimes inflammation of the lining of the heart or the lining of the uh, uh, lungs can also give symptoms of chest discomfort. Uh, Sometimes you can differentiate um, what, which one is which simply by taking history uh, from the patient. So angina can be um, uh, a serious condition depending on the reason uh, as to why a patient suffers angina. Uh, in order to be able to answer that question, uh, a number of investigations are usually required that would include an echocardiogram, which is a scan of the heart to look at the heart function and the valves of the heart. That can be a CT, a coronary angiogram. It can be a, a, a cardiac MRI with stress or even an exercise test. Which modality um, is best uh, um, varies uh, on the patient, their previous history, and the history of previous investigations. But that is something that sh you should be able to discuss uh, with, your, uh, with your cardiologist in detail. So the approach I take um, is a fairly simple one. Uh, if you are concerned by your symptoms, especially uh, when it comes to symptoms that persist, uh, i.e. symptoms that last for uh, uh, more than a few days or symptoms that you experience on exertion, when you uh, are up and about, then I would suggest you look into those. Uh, you will know yourself what doesn't feel uh, right, what is outside of the norm, what is something that you have never experienced before. Um, and as I said, if it's something that persists, especially that if it's something that... Um, uh, your experience on exertion, then you should certainly uh, uh, look into that uh, uh, by consulting with your GP or your cardiologist. It, it all really depends on what the cause of the angina is. If uh, that is caused by narrowing or fairings of the arteries um, in, uh, and medical therapy has failed, uh, by that I mean tablet therapy has failed, then a stent may be required. Uh, 
to treat the to treat your symptoms. Uh, if it is caused by narrow uh, a narrow valve, for example, then we will need to treat that valve in order to ensure there is sufficient blood supply going to the heart muscle. Symptoms of chest pain are not due to angina. Then again, how we manage that depends on the underlying cause. If it is inflammation of the lining of the heart, of the lining of the uh, lungs, then a few days of anti-inflammatory uh, uh, therapy with um, non-steroidal medication may be sufficient. Or if it is, of course, something like a, a muscle spasm, uh, then uh, we, again, anti-inflammatory therapy uh, should settle that after a few days. So to answer the question really depends uh, on what the causes of your chest pain is. If it is definition, uh, uh, then you may need some invasive therapy, but that we can only answer after we have performed uh, uh, an array of investigations. When we're under uh, emotional stress or any other sort of stress, especially extreme stress, uh, we have an increase uh, in uh, the levels of stress hormones in our body, that is adrenaline and noradrenaline. And that can cause the blood vessels to constrict, i.e. to go into spasm. Uh, and if they go into spasm, then the blood supply to the heart muscle uh, can be uh, can be affected uh, and that can cause symptoms of uh, chest tightness. But that we only see that in, um, in, in cases of extreme, of extreme stress. What I will say is that stress in itself is an independent risk factor uh, or a widely acknowledged risk factor for coronary artery disease. Uh, and uh, coronary artery disease, of course, can cause narrowings and fairings uh, of the heart arteries, which in itself can then cause angina.